Yeah. He was a very proud young Jaeger boy. He was very healthy, happy and sporty. He loved doof doof music. He loved country. All kind of music. You got me that way. I listen to it now. <laughs> We did everything together. We always try to keep our culture amongst us. Either we go fishing or we go turtle diving or something like that. <laughs> Jermaine would always be the first one in the water and always the last one to get out. Had a big heart. He'd tackle, take one in there. Yeah, he wasn't afraid. He got in there, had a dig. He was only younger too, he was only still learning the game, you know. He could have been something special. Him being his age, we still looked up to him because he had a big heart. And it's kind of kind of weird how it happened because he had such a big heart. He's not here, and I still got to remind myself this. I still question why did it happen to us in such a young, healthy. Young person, young boy, you know, yeah. And he was my baby. Mm. It hurts for him not to be around anymore. It does hurt. But there was a lot more that I was expecting to do with him as we grew up and grew old. And Yeah, well, after seeing that with Jermaine, I, yeah, it can happen to anyone. I saw it with my nana pop, and I saw it with a lot of my uncles and aunties. But, yeah, no one's so young. How it all happened was, I said, oh, you got a head cold and he's coughing and coughing, but not the sneezing, what you'd get for a normal head cold, you know, coughing and coughing, as I took him to the doctor. Cardiomyopathy is a, a heart condition where the heart uh, fails. Once it starts to fail to pump, well then you get build up of fluid. People will get excess fluid around their lungs, so they do a uh, coughing. So one of the first symptoms that a person might get is that they're coughing a lot. As the heart progressively gets weaker and can't pump, the fluid goes to the peripheral. So it'll go to your feet, to your arms, to your belly. About middle of March, he started popping in and out of hospitals. He's heart was dying, but his body was still so healthy to look at. Yeah, and, and I think that tricked us. He didn't start to get knocked around and wobbly until about June, July. Yeah, and then after that he started getting a bit slow in things in July and then um, what really knocked him well and truly backwards is he had a stroke, I think it was in August, and um, blinded his eye. He said, no, Mum, I can see. <laughs> you know, he was like, I can see. I said, doctor said, you're blind. Said, I could see. It was just still ordinary mum and son conversation. And I was talking to people, my friends, and saying, oh, I've got my Jermaine, he's got a heart condition. They said... Oh, they all recover, you know, modern technology and all of this and that. And I'm, I'm there thinking the same, modern technology. It'll fix, you know, there's going to be something to fix it and make him strong again. It never happened. And he spent his last two weeks of his life in a hospital bed. He never did make it back to McLean. He left Lismore Base on the 2nd of September at lunchtime and he passed away the 2nd of September in Sydney. Mm. So he never made it home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's your uncle Jermaine. There's somebody else busy that left him candle for his birthday. No? Seek medical help if you're worried about anything, uh, particularly in the young men who are what I call they're our young warriors, they're our upcoming leaders, that they actually um, 
don't have this too much shame on board that I'm shamed to go to the hospital, I'm shamed to seek help. It's good to go and have that checkup. Go and, you know, it doesn't, it's not going to hurt you. Go, go, go get that little checkup. I've sort of um, picked up on my little visits to the doc, and we all like to go and have a bit of fun and whatnot, and, but, uh, you know, just, uh, just be aware. Now I get my health, health check regularly, just the thought of that, it, the thought of him always crosses my mind, you know, I've thought of him as never too far around and what he'd done and what he'd actually been through, it does give you an urge to go to the doctor and just go check up every now and then, even if nothing's wrong or even if it's just a little twinge or something. Mm. Yeah. Many times I said to him, you know, if, if I could give you my heart, son, and you could live on forever, I'd give you my heart. He was starting to mature into our young gentleman, and um, yeah, we didn't get to see the um, the young gentleman that we should have had.